Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Brimstone, Joseph Chamberlain. He made his first appearance in The Curse of Brimstone, issue number one, that was released in June of 2018. His true persona is Joe Chamberlain, and he's an American male that has green eyes and red hair, although when he's in his Brimstone persona, he has red eyes and no hair. Now, Brimstone's powers originate from the Dark Multiverse, stemming from his interaction with an individual called the Salesman. And while Joe is in this form, he has extreme, near limitless, elemental fire superpowers. His abilities are advanced enough that he was even shown to be able to overpower the Lord of Order, Naboo, who's actually the source of Dr. Fate's extreme powers. And although it's been noted that Brimstone's powers aren't magic-based and are actually corrupted elemental powers, for all intents and purposes, they're basically the same. As Brimstone, Joe's pyrokinetic powers are manifested as fire projection, an explosively powerful fire burst, and fire constructs, such as shields or weapons, that he can make by manipulating and controlling fire at his will. Brimstone also possesses mid to high level superhuman strength, superhuman speed and agility, vast superhuman durability, and also an advanced healing factor if he's injured due to the elemental energies that flow through him. Brimstone is also capable of controlled flight, as well as being completely resistant to heat and fire attacks, as well as being highly resistant to magical attacks, which Dr. Fate learned the hard way. The only weakness that Brimstone seems to have is that his power is unstable, and the more often he uses it, the harder it is for him to restrain the dark aspects of his personality. Now, Joe was born and raised in a small coal mining town named York Hills, having a father named Darren and a sister named Annabeth, AKA Annie. One day, Joe's dad was permanently injured in a mining accident. And subsequent to this, the coal mines there stopped producing, which slowly led to the town's economic collapse. And despite many of the residents leaving town, there was a remnant of people that stayed, Joe being one of them because of the fact that he stayed to take care of his father. The family finances were tight, but Joe was able to finally buy a car so that he could leave town to go look for a job. As fates would have it though, this car would break down when he was on the road. And this is when he would be picked up by a good Samaritan that called himself the salesman. This guy told Joe that he was sent by the home office to put York Hills back in the limelight. The salesman asked Joe if he wanted to be one of his agents in charge of renovating this dilapidated town. Naturally, Joe quickly agreed. But when he shook the salesman's hand, he instantly began changing into the demonic being known as Brimstone. The salesman then revealed his true nature and that his plan was to actually put York Hills on the map by burning it to the ground and the fact that Brimstone himself would be the one to do it. We'd later see Joe wake up in his bed with his sister Annie looking after him, explaining that she had found him unconscious on the mountainside and had brought him home. She explained how all the buildings in town had caught on fire, but were put out by a strange blizzard. And after Joe explained his strange incident, they decided to investigate on whether the salesman had ever done this before. They'd come across subreddits and other information that would link the salesman to freak accidents, which had caused the destruction of other small towns. After linking the salesman to this, they went to the only hotel where he could be, finding his room and discovering a mysterious ledger that had all of his previous transactions in it. This confirmed their suspicions. But before they could even think, all the phones in the building started to ring. And when Annie picked one of them up, she was met with the voice of the salesman, telling them that he had their father. The brother and sister were then met by an agent of the salesman called The Hound, who happened to be the one responsible for the blizzard. The Hound had also been tricked by the salesman to destroy her town, but later she accepted her role. When Brimstone attacked the Hound, he was beginning to get beat, but this time he was saved when his sister slammed a truck into the ice-wielding beam. The brother and sister escaped, but quickly discovered that they were being tracked by this Hound. And when they finally stopped running to make a stand, they learned that the salesman was waiting for them also, with their dad in tow. The salesman explained to Joe that he had to complete the destructive tasks he was assigned so that the earth would be more hospitable for the home office when they arrived. Brimstone attacked the salesman but was interrupted by the hound who quickly started to beat him again. But this time, just as Brimstone was about to be beaten for good, Joe's dad tackled the hound, which prompted her to freeze him to death. 
Witnessing this traumatic event made Joe explode in anger, literally letting forth his powerful fire burst, which flattened the entire region. When the dust settled, the hound was dead and the only thing in the whole area that wasn't Ash was Joe and Annie. But they discovered that the salesman had slipped away. Right then and there, the brother and sister decided that they had to stop any tragedy like this from ever happening again. They then started an ongoing road trip with the salesman's ledger, which contained all of the locations of his next targets. They'd have a time trying to interpret the ledger, which actively tries to prevent anyone from reading it but the salesman, doing things such as rearranging the letters on the page. But regardless of this, they'd embark upon many different adventures, hopefully one day getting the salesman to reverse this crazy curse. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Brimstone Joseph Chamberlain a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.